This video was recorded live on my Twitch channel. Check out all of my live streams down in the description below. Whoops, I completely missed that message. So we, re we actually received a letter from Lord March while I was not recording, and we got invited to the Goodwood Festival of Speed. We're not going to do that yet because I'll show it off real quick. As you can see by the 1-1, one 1-2, dash one, one dash there's actually different stages. There's a total of five. We're going to knock out all five when we unlock all five. The way you unlock them is by getting 25 total stars. In total, 125 throughout the entire playthrough is how you get um, the Goodwood Festival of Speed. So around the A license, maybe like a quarter of the way down, we'll go ahead and go do the Goodwood Festival of Speed. But regardless, we're doing the Freshman Cup next. The Freshman Cup is an event aimed at beginners in all kinds of cars. Uh, that's it. It's basically glorified Sunday Cup. So, we're going to go buy a Sunday, well, more like a weekday car. More like a daily driver. Let's go to Mazda. Where are you? There you are. The 2007 Mazda Atenza Sport 25Z. Ooh, I like it in Galaxy Grey. It looks really nice. FD say Oh, dude. Okay. Strike me down, but I forgot FD was even going on. The only reason why is because my homie's not even racing at, at this year. That's why. Like, <laughs> I mean, I love drifting, but like, yeah. Part of me feels kind of empty. I know it's a doubleheader weekend. Who won yesterday? So anyways, Freshman Cup. Three races. Um, Sukuba, The Stowe, and Special State... Special Stage Route 5 Clubman. Oh, uh, Matt Kaufman. Driver the number 959. Um, well, not this season, but 959 Nissan 240SX and Formula D Pro. So, what is our opponent list? A Sylvia K in front. Ooh, a Renault 5. Okay, cool. I like how it's all, like, cool-looking cars. And then, uh, my Atenza. Atenzas are not cool. No, I know Kaufman. Long story short, um, me and my best friend, we snuck into the media day in 2015. Osbo won yesterday, Turk second. I see. So, yeah, we snuck into the media day 2015. I, it was his rookie year. And um, that was for the entire Long Beach GP. And so, like, you know, obviously IndyCar was there. IMSA was there. Pirelli World Challenge. Formula Drift. They are doing media shit. And he was he was there loading, like, unloading his truck and everything. And so, like, we're just like, oh, it's a driver. Let's go say hi. And then pretty much we kicked it with him for, like, an hour because he was super nice. And then he pretty much was like, you know, come back to the hospitality during the weekend. So we went back to the hospitality. And then, like, yeah, we're, we're, we're cool now. We were supposed to play some AC together, but the problem is that, like, scheduling-wise, like, yeah, it's pretty tricky to, like, schedule shit around. Yeah, it's cool. He's a cool dude. I'd lie to say if we're, like, super close, but, like, whenever, like, he's in town or whatever, we kick it. So, Renault 5 and Sylvia ahead, both standard cars, unfortunately. Renault 5, I... It, again, if I was a wishlister, it's that car. Me, people are semi-famous. I mean, the most famous person that I know personally, but not suit Like, again, not super close, but I know them, and they know me, is a uh, UFC... UFC legend Anderson Silva? That's about it. <laughs> I don't know. I guess we, in terms of, like, global stardom, I suppose, that's the only person, really. But, like, I don't know. It's just, like, okay, I don't really see it that way. It's just, you just meet people. Like, drivers? Eh. Anyone? Eh. I don't really care. People are just people at the end of the day. Like, they just live their daily lives like I do. 
Yeah, uh, exactly what Chris said right now. Oh, this is a two-lap race? I didn't even knew. I didn't even realize. <laughs> I thought you and Jimmy bang though. But yeah, I mean, you know what I think it is too? I think it's part of the fact that like, although it's not like he's a fucking global superstar or nothing, it's just like going to auditions and shit for my, for Ambush King's acting, like, you just kind of casually run into these people and I don't know, even then, I've always been the kind of person that's just like, cool, you do this, that's, that's cool. You casually know people working at Cody's and SMS, nice, that's cool. Okay, what drivers do I know personally? Okay, so Kaufman, I sort of, you know, I'm not close, like, not super close with him at all, but like Noah Gregson. The, the driver I'm like closest to is probably Will Rogers, who's a part-time Xfinity guy. Not right now, though, sadly, because of COVID and no money. Ryan Vargas, and then uh, the closest driver I'm to is my friend Prescott Campbell, who's running in the road to Indy in the USF 2000 championship. Also, this stow circuit, by the way, as you can see, the chicanes are not implemented. Unlike the Santa challenge where there's cones and stuff, you literally just drive forward. I wish the chicane version was a thing. It would have been cool, but eh, I guess not. Oh, yes, I was the godfather of Danica Patrick. Totally. Despite, you know, Danica being, I don't know, 20 years older than me, I think, or 15 years older, something like that. This track is in PC3? See, I wouldn't know because I don't play PC3. I don't own it. Nor do I really want to. Eh, I, I, even if I wanted to, I'm broke, so like, eh. Can't have all those chicanes? Well, I'm going to take the chicanes just for fun. Also, I never changed the suit back to black. I'll do that after this. So Prelude is leading. Well, it doesn't really matter because like we're just gonna hunt them down anyways. Given how easy this game is, how easy, easy. You badass. Hey, it's in the name of safety, Chris. Easy. <laughs> I know, right? I'm flexing on the opponents here, showing them, like, hey, I'm way faster. I never honked the horn on the other cars. What's wrong with me? Whoops. Accidental first gear. Do I have another button program for the horn? Or for the lights, I mean? I do not. Just like the potential high speed, high speed ring. Yep. Ugh, reprofiling, God. Yeah, easy peasy, gam just to e v for. <laughs> I'm using my Thrustmaster TGT. This is the same wheel I will be... Yeah. No. Not TTG. TG. No, Ender. I don't ram people out the way and then say, Ha ha ha, North America GT Sport top split is so trash. TTG. <laughs> what the hell is that noise? I hear like a buzzing noise or an outside or something. So anyways, the way I'm using it is I have an adapter called the Gimx. G-I-M-X. 
it emulates driving the driving force pro on my ps3 and i plug the wheel into my pc along with the adapter and then the adapter uses like a um also high reflexor the adapter uses like a usb mini cable or something i forget which cable it is and you plug that into the ps3 i will send you the adapter on um discord it's worth the 30 euros they ask because it's from france i believe yes TGT Evo. I keep forgetting. I already disabled TCS. I don't need to do it over and over again. Damn, we have a vibe in here because they, you know, we vibing. I mean, obviously, it's not going to be like the full force feedback experience from like GT Sport or PC games or anything. It's actually, yeah, it, it, I think maybe. Although I do have the, the Force Feedback turned down on the PC settings, because it is running on the PC, technically. Like I said, it's using the adapter. And the adapter is plugged into the PS3 while the PC is using the wheel, technically. Ever since I started using the TGT? Where did you use one? Oh, you own one now! Dude, let's go! I've had mine two years now, and I freaking love this thing. I mean... Ooh, story time? Also, can I just mention that... SSR 5 and Club and Stage Route 5 in these games look absolutely jaw-dropping. Like, the buildings look beautiful and everything. Yeah, just get a Fantasy Podium DD2. Okay. You couldn't fix it. I believe so, Ender. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> Instantly break your wrist. You figured out the problem. Wait, what was wrong with... Let me guess. Was it the rim itself that was broken? Like, okay. I'm listening. I'm hearing a lot of background noise on my end. Can you guys hear any of it? Like, I'm sure my neighbors are having a vacuum or something. Okay, cool, thanks. Hey, Rush with the raid. What's up, dude? How did your ESGT race go? Oh, it was... That's it? So you came up on a TGT, fixed one little thing for $200. Bro kind of iffy oh you got a story to tell and that's how you got to teach this dude bravo man that's th i'm happy for you chris that's awesome like i freaking love my tgt and i'm always going to be super thankful to thrustmaster for um hooking me up man like like their entire marketing team like tim gorhan and all the other guys like dude they're they're incredible fucking people and like i I actually reached out to Tim uh, this week just to catch up and see how he was doing. And, you know, it's good to see that they're doing good. Everyone's doing fine. and But, of, of course, like, COVID doesn't really help their business. But, um, yeah. Did that scare you, Ender? A lot of incidents found their way to you today. Oh, boy. I, kn I know. I know the alert scared you. But um, I was asking, did the horn scare you as well? Because, you know, this is a uh, this is a jump scare channel where I try to use jump scares to, to scare my audience. Haha, -ha, because uh, that's funny and that will get views. Well, 
Well, that is the freshman cup done. We are no longer freshmen. We've unlocked the next coffee break, but it's time to pull out the big PP. Well, 400 PP is not very big. Time for another clubman cup next.